Now you listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from? Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. You can have it. Because our Jesus is good. He's good. I'm talking about these thoughts. I ain't know he's going to have some music. Music in here. Hey. That's music to my ear every time I hear it. And people say it ain't no such thing as demons, but listen to all that mess. All that ruckus. So the devil, Satan, is the one. I'm saying he's the accused of the brother. So if he brother. can't get you, hey, if I accuse you before the father, I mean, I and then you're accusing each other. You follow me? Next thing you know, he's going to have you to like, accusing your own self. Is that right? Oh, he's going to have you accusing your own self. They'll take care of him. Y'all come on in. Y'all come, come on in. <laughs> we bless Satan. Hallelujah. Glory to the king. <laughs> what these spirits, boy, they saw me out right there. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Glory to the king. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. And I'm sure it's afternoon where you at. At least it is here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Blog Talk Radio, Pastor Dow here. Straightway Truth Radio Broadcast. Glory to the King. Everybody doing all right? I hope you are. Let me bring your screen out just a little bit more. Get that glare in there. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. We, um, we're doing all right here straightway. Here we are again. By the grace of Yop on another... Shabbat. Got a few announcements need to make. Listen to me. I, I spoke about the um, sweatshirts that's going to have the straightway logo on the front of them. Those shirts will not be available for tabernacles. What I said was, is if you want to obtain one of those sweatshirts, you call, I mean not call, but you mail in um, your offering, your, your gift of $50, and tell us the size, because, you know, I'll tell you the truth, I don't even know if we're going to make it or not. we at the end of August, right? I, I can't even guarantee you they're going to be here now, as slow as them people be at times. Um, but um, we're going to try, uh, next week, it's the last week that we can even try to think about taking orders for these things because uh, th this this print place <clears throat> is taking a while. I'm building a building. Elder Donnie, he knows how to do all this stuff. Uh, we're going to probably more than likely get our own thing. Let Elder Donnie run it for us. They ain't going to worry about these folks out here, man. We save a little bit of money. And plus, give it to you at cheaper price, free cheaper price. But if you want it, you got to mail in your offering. All right, all right. Um, we have a lot of people coming in um, uh, this weekend. Uh, hallelujah! And what else? What else we got going on here? What else we got going on here? I know. I mean, I had something else in my mind. Elder Rufus. Is uh, in Maryland, him and Sister Jennifer. They're in Maryland right now uh, with the saints of the Most High Yah. Um, hallelujah. I'm sure they're being taken care of, having a wonderful time up there in Maryland. I 
I'm trying to figure out what y'all doing. High glory to the king. And then what else? Let me see. What else we got? We got um very interesting messages uh, coming up. Matter of fact, we um if you notice, we've been tearing down uh, the racist lie that other people cannot become part um, of the Hebrew nation. Uh, it's just a flat out lie. That's all there is to it. Um, and it, and the message of that is predicated upon racism. You know, I would hate to stand before the Most High Yah, knowing that you've done done everything you could in your power to keep other people from coming to this truth. You've offended people from coming to this truth. Ooh, what a heavy burden that is going to answer to y'all for something like that. It's a mess, isn't it? Tabernacles. Now, the weather is, is, is hard to depict. It really truly is. We're looking forward to seeing you, you, and you here. Um, don't forget, during Tabernacles, um, in the world, they will say BYOB, but bring your own bottle. Uh, we're still going to have plenty of, of um, uh, things to feast on here at Straight. We're going to have plenty of things to feast. Um, don't forget you're coming to uh, the, the third commanded feast in the year out of seven appointed times. Um, and we're going to be here, you know, seven, eight days. It, um, when you first start, it seems like a long time, but it ain't a long time at all. And um, we're going to make sure that we set up and schedule everything so that if people want to get rest, they can get rest uh, and be well rested. Uh, our, matter of fact, we're moving breakfast back an hour to 9 a.m. Um, and dinner back an hour to 4 p.m. We're going to adjust all the times and we're going to make announcements each day in order to keep you informed. Um, we um, built, myself and a brother, we built a shower house, um, another, another shower. So we you're already familiar with the old shower house, but we built another shower house that has five shower stalls on each side, male and female. And I think we're working on putting a changing table in one too. But, um, and they're nice size showers too. And you know the good thing about these though is that when, when, uh, when we designed this, we got those rainmaker type thing. We put them directly at the very top of the ceiling so when you cut the water on, it falls straight down on you. Um, in a big old I mean, it's just like a waterfall it does. And so now the thing we have left, left to do is to test it, run it for about maybe 15, 20 minutes, see how the water and everything does. Um, so we have plenty of facilities um, here in order to keep you clean. Of course, we're going to have porta potty strategically placed in certain areas. Um, and, of course, then we have the shower house that has uh, quite a few places to um, for you to be able to uh, rest your boo-boo. Um, we also have a couple of homes uh, that has um, running water and stuff in it and, and uh, bathrooms that would be available as well. But we want to say you want to make sure that since you're going to be here, because a, a lot of times at feast, um, the feast days in October, it's kind of cool at night. Um, of course, we're welcoming the cool. Uh, all things considered, Man, it's been a brutal, 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 brutal uh, uh, sober time. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. If you are a first-time visitor, hit a straightway. Boy, you're getting ready to have the experience of your life. Um, but, man, we just, when we had tabernacles, we keep God first and foremost because, we, you know, it's a wedding feast. It's almost like a wedding feast because uh, we're tabernacling with him. And we're going to be sleeping in tents uh, seven days. Hallelujah. Um, wonderful food. Uh, wonderful food. Uh, straightway Sisters be cooking. Straightway Georgia be cooking. Straightway Kansas City um, will be cooking. Um, did you have Straightway South Carolina doing a meal too, Sister Carolyn? No, I don't know. But anyway, it's a wonderful time. Now, if you want to be comfortable, you want to get you a nice size little cot. Um, 
and you want to probably get a, a mattress pad and a couple of blankets and a nice little pillow, man, you be right at home. Because if it's cool at night, if you like me, cool sleep at night, it's a wonderful time. Um, now, I got one of those big man cots. You know what I mean? Um, feel pretty good. Feel pretty good. Um, I got to get one for Cool James. Um, and uh, last, last tabernacle, because I had the command center tent. I was sleeping in that, and I had myself, Elder Austin, Brother Gabriel, and I don't know if that was the only ones, but we all slept in that thing. Um, and, and you want to make sure, you, know, you may want to go to Walmart or uh, one of these survival stores, camping gear stores, and buy you one of those little bitty potties. You know those little bitty potties? You can actually get well, like a five-gallon bucket if your tent's tall enough and then get one of those fancy lids and put on it. And you can use that for a pee bucket at night while you're in the tent. When you get up in the middle of the night, some of you, um, and you got to pee rather than getting dressed and, and going all the way over to the porta potty or something like that, you can pee right in your little bucket. And we'll have, we got lids on our septic tank where you can actually go and dump uh, your pee pee. But it's just make it convenient for you to not have to get out the tent. All right? Firearms is allowed. Um, but however, we don't expect for nobody to be unsheathing their firearms, brandishing your weapon, showing everybody in, in the world, look, 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 look what I got, and it's all loaded and stuff. We don't want to see nothing like that. All right? Glory to the king. Um. We probably want to put, uh, now we got only two bathroom facilities, tabernacle, but we're going to have a couple of porta potties up here as well for you to be able to use. Like I said, we, uh, the shower house accommodations is more than, than welcome. I guarantee, especially if you've been here a few uh, feast days and stuff, because I think the sister side of the shower house has got two showers with bathtubs and one shower stall. The brothers has three shower stalls so you think about that you, you're going from three to eight and that is a lot right there um, make sure you honor the most high yah with your substance and bring a nice offering for the feast um, if you want to bring federal reserve notes bring federal reserve notes you want to bring gold bring gold want to bring silver bring silver uh, we spend federal reserve notes um I don't mind telling you, it cost us a lot of money logistically. The other day, uh, Elder Doug came back from town because uh, he got to drive about an hour and 15 minutes away because our feed is specially mixed. And he came back uh, with two tons of feed. Now, most of you don't know what that means. Two tons of feed is 4,000 pounds of feed. That's not including all the other stuff we've already gotten for the chickens because we're raising meat birds. And um, some of you will probably be here and we're going to be butchering chicken now. If you ain't never tasted straightway chicken, you don't know what you miss it. Matter of fact, many of you don't even know what chicken is. Uh, you eat that rubber stuff out there uh, from KFC Popeyes and Bojangles and everything else. You don't know what chicken is. Uh-uh. You don't know what chicken is. And most of you, when you get here, don't think there's something wrong with you. Because you find yourself having two and three bowel movements a day. Because you're you're actually your system is functioning properly because you're eating good food. Um, that's the reason why. As a matter of fact, Sister Carol, we need to set up a date. We need first of all remind me that I need to check all our septic tanks around here. I need to check the sludge level and stuff because with this amount of people are here, boy, I mean our septic tank will be something. Now listen to me. We do not flush personal hygiene, feminine hygiene down our toilet or septic system. One year, I don't know what's wrong with, with, with some of you people out there in this world, but I told, I told people don't do it, they did it anyway, and it cost us $2,000 to fix our septic system. All because of a few people, lazy, lethargic, just, just I mean, just nasty, vile, and, and just not clean, and it, it's disheartening. 
It really truly is just totally disheartening. Now, other than that, Tabernacles is one of the most joyous times of peace because, first of all, we're around saints. We are around saints for anywhere from eight to ten days. Some people come four days. Some people come three days. Some people come five days. Some people come as long as they can, and then they then they take off. And but usually everybody try to be here for deliverance. Everybody wants to. That's one of the highlights of Tabernacles Mass Deliverance. But we have such a wonderful time. Wonderful time of fellowship. Uh, myself and the brethren, the brother, we're making sure that we have our talks, that we're doing our due diligence to make sure um, that we have, we're going to have very minimum work on the land. Um, if any work we're going to probably have at all is if we had to start a framing um, or updating a couple of homes or doing a roof, we may do some building. You know what I mean? Split up some groups and do some building classes and let you get a uh, hand on hammering, uh, framing, you know, stuff like that if we're doing that. Uh, because if you're already in the process of developing a community, you're going to see how important it is uh, to be able to have that experience on hand. Uh, we won't have any concrete to do this year because it'll all be done. Um, but we're not going to be doing, if anything, we probably work no more than maybe an hour or two uh, each day, light duty, very light duty. Most of that is cleaning, taking out trash, doing a trash run, or stuff like that. Uh, I expect everybody to be impeccable in character, have impeccable character. Uh, Mother Carol, uh, uh, you call her Mother Carol, she's Sister Carol to me, you call her Mother Carol because, you know, Sister Carol has been with me from the very beginning. You know, she's been married to me. We've been married over 30 something years. She know more about this ministry and deliverance than anybody, any other woman does. And she got more experience at counseling and dealing with people. Uh, but uh, she's kind of like uh, the mother of the church, if you understand what I mean. And then we have other mothers, Mom, Mom, Mother Dow, Mother Bullock. Um, uh, we got a couple of mothers. We sure do. Uh, mother Beasley. Hallelujah. Um, uh, let me see. I am still, listen to me, my winter schedule is already stacking up. Uh, I still have it in my mind to do a meeting in Ohio and Pennsylvania, and I have to go to Alaska um, prior to the turn of the Roman New Year. All right? But I really, truly need for all y'all to start really, truly taking this walk seriously and be impeccable in character. Stop being lies, cheats, scoundrels, falsifying, hypocrites, and all this other stuff. Be, mean what you say and say what you mean. Hallelujah. And, and just be honorable. Glory to the King. Um, we'll go to the phone line here already. Uh, you already know the drill. Guest call in number is 310-982-4226. Now listen, I usually give the area code of because I don't call the name. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I mostly call the area code. You know your area code. I usually do like this. I'll say like area code uh, 832. That's what I'll say. This is Pastor Dow. Call, I'll say area code 832-832. This is Pastor Dow. Of the Straightway Truth radio broadcast, how can I help you? You know what I'm doing? I'm giving you time to be able to have your phone in your ear, not listening over the computer, but in your ear, so that we can carry on a good conversation. Um, I don't need you preparing and rushing over there real quick. I'm going to try my best to give you a little bit more time to get there. Because um, I realize you're listening through the computer or you're watching through the computer. And you're probably relaxed, drinking coffee or maybe a glass of wine or something like that. You know, just resting for the Sabbath. This is y'all's rest day that he give to us, and we thank y'all for it. Like right now is what I'm doing, drinking coffee. Um, but I need to speak with you over the phone. Get away from the computer because it's going to be feedback. Uh, and don't keep me on the line. 
uh, talking about a bunch of nonsense. Let's just talk about some uh, some real good stuff, all right? Hallelujah. All right, let's go to Texas. Uh, call number 832-832. Uh, this is Pastor Dow. You are on the Straightway Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you? Hello, Pastor. How are you? I'm blessed of the Most High Yah. Highly favored. Who am I speaking with? This is Samuel Samson. Sandro Samson? No, Samuel. Oh, Samuel. Samuel Samson. Samuel Samson. Mm -hmm. How can I help you, sir? Yes, sir. Well, I was talking about, I, I'm very inspired about, uh, you know, with your talk. I listened to you. Uh, I have you uh, subscribe. And it was something you said was very interesting where, you know, uh, when you were saying you need to get out of these cities, uh, get us some land. Uh, my question to you is, uh, if you're just not able to afford it, uh, you don't have the finances to get out of the city or uh, whatever, uh, do you think that the most high would st still want to protect us? Even if, you know, uh, we didn't have the finances to get out? All right. Now, I'll give you a quick answer here, all right? But a very true answer. Do you remember the story a lot? Right. Yes, I do. All right. Does not the Messiah talk about Lot, talk about Noah and all these old other generations in the day? Yes, sir. And um, and, and um, the, the Most High always sends warning before destruction. Is that correct? Yes, he does. And he talks about the days of Lot, the days of Noah, Sodom and Gomorrah. He talks about all that stuff. And if you notice, our people, first of all, Israelites ain't supposed to be in the city in the first place. Because we are an agricultural right. people. That's the reason why a lot of people don't understand the Bible today. Because they don't want it. When I say, and I'm quoting the Messiah, when I say, by their fruits they should know them. Most people, they, they hear the saying, but they don't have any idea or clue what I'm talking about. Because they've never planted a bean plant. They don't know what it means to eat the fruit of their own hands. They don't know what it means to cultivate. They don't know what it means to uh, hold. They don't know what it means to harvest. And every our feast days is centered all around it. The Bible is just, we are Hebrew people, we are agricultural people. And it's been taken away from us. And I can't understand for the life of me after yes, we hear the call why somebody wants to stay in there. Brother, it took me, it took me from the first time it entered into my heart. It took me three years three years to get out of the city but see what i did was i had all i was in debt too brother i had already purposed in my heart way before youtube way before straightway way before y'all even heard anything about me it entered into my heart in 1995 after reading this bible after seeing what people did in function not what other people telling me. Yes, I was a, I'm a student of the scripture. So I follow the blueprint of my ancient ancestors because I know they got it right. And so what I did was I worked diligently. I worked three jobs. I paid off my debt. I made my wife get off of her job so I could work two, three, sometimes two jobs, sometimes three jobs in order to get the debt paid off. And everything that yes, if sir. you listen to me any, any amount of time at all, Whatever I am telling y'all, I've already done myself. So when people come up with all these excuses trying to tell us, well, what about this, what about that? What about it's going to be there? But y'all honest faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please him, brother. I worked my fingers to the bone. And, brother, I got out of debt. I got out of the cities. Um, we stacked up in homes with faithful believers. Uh, we I, I, I took the money that I... Kept putting aside, purchased this land, the first part of the land of straightway. Most people don't know, but the first part of the land of straightway I bought was only 13 acres. And then we purchased 25 acres, and most of it is hilltop in the side of a mountain. And um, and, yes, and and I just recently, uh, this year, purchased another 10 acres that was adjacent to us. So we probably got like 50 acres of land now. But it's rough land, but it's land that we know what we're doing with. But what I'm saying is everything that I tell y'all, it's biblical, and I've already yes, done it. It's only going to be a benefit for you if you obey and you start doing it. And then, and only then will you yes, be sir. able to see. But until then, excuses always going to be in front of you. It took me three years yes, sir. to pay this debt off, brother. And you know what? 
Here I am 18 years later on this community. So that means in 21 years of actually being faithful of doing this, y'all's not only honored me to be able to provide a living for myself and my family, but I've got eight or ten other families here, including single brothers and sisters here, that I am able, because of the faithfulness of Pastor Dow, to provide a place that we can all call home. And this is everybody who lives on this land. Yes, that is their home as well. How many people you know that would turn around and go out and buy all this land and then invite faithful Israelite people to come in, we tell them what the rules are, we tell them how we do things, and then they can call it home as well. There's some people been living out here, same amount of time I have from the first time I stepped foot on it. So, brother, anybody else, I'm only, I know I'm answering your question, but I'm also uh, speaking to other people who may have the same question as well. You just gave me opportunity to go in. But y'all honor faith. He don't honor a bunch of excuses. Yes, All these are obstacles that are put in front of you. It's right. just it's just something that you're just going to have to negotiate. That's all there's to it. You're going to have to actually attack the obstacle and overcome it. We, I can give you a thousand excuses of reason why come I can't do this and I can't do that. And I, but I'm a man that always look for the solution because I, can, I see all the barriers. I see all the walls. I see all the mountains that are setting up in front of us. And you know what? I overcome every single mountain that's ever been in front of me. I had people tell me, you can't do this, and you can't do that. And then they called me all kind of names. They told me, you can't lay blocks. They said, you can't do concrete. You can't, you, it takes a while to learn how to drive a track hole. Uh, it takes a while to learn how to do a back hole. You don't know how to run no excavator. You can't, you don't know how to do a floater for no cement. You don't know how to frame no house. You don't know how to run wire. You don't know how to, uh, I mean, over and over and over again, everybody telling you everything that you can't do. And everything they told me I can't do, yes, not only have I done it, but I've done it better than everybody who said I couldn't do it. <laughs> and I believe that you definitely inspired me. And I seen when I, you know, each time I watch you, you inspired me. And I said, that was a blessed man by Yahweh. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say this too, my brother. The reason why I'm blessed is because I do what the Father says. And he has blessed the labor of my hands. He has blessed the labor of our faithful brothers and sisters' hands here. In other words, Yah, he don't like no lazy person. He don't like no excuse-making people. He, he, he's a producer. That's what, he, that's what he likes. I mean, I'm telling you, I know what Yah like. Then he says, when you put your hand out there, I will bless you. Yeah, he will. And then all that, everybody else will be able to see your blessing. And you're going to have people get be envious of you. People are going to be jealous of you. And it's amazing. And guess what, my brother? Brother Sam, I'm going to tell you something. Check this out. There's not one person at Straightway that pays rent, mortgage. Are you following me? Yes, sir. None of them have a house note. Wow. Not There's not one person on Straightway that has any debt. Wow. Now, I... I just purchased a, a 2008, oh. I purchased a 2008 Cadillac, and I've been trying to pay that thing off fast as I can. I think I owe like nine or $10,000 on it, and I'm going to have that thing paid off fast as I can possible, even if I got to go out there and get a job. Well, I tell you, I'm... Uh no, I understand. I, I believe you when you said when you said Yahweh doesn't like excuses. I definitely believe that. And uh, you know, I basically I'm on. Uh, you know, I'm disabled right now because of my lower spine. But you know, I pray for healing and I'm believing for. How healing much disability I, I, do you I, have? You know, I, uh, the disability that I have. What percentage? I, I would give it like seven hundred, seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. Well, I mean, you're getting more. Hey, that's a little bit. I mean, hey, you can get it done. Yeah, I, I believe that he can do anything. You know, and I told him if he would heal me, uh, and I believe that he can. I would, I would, you know, I would go out and work wherever. I mean, I was working before I ended up being disabled. How old are you? You know, I'm just, I'm 55. Well, I figure you sound kind of old. See, now 
you have done past your prime to be able to do all that I've done. So your best interest and your best bet is, is to get your house in order and then try to find other faithful Israelites. But, but now, mind you, while you're looking for faithful Israelites, you need to check yourself first and see if you're faithful. Because our home fellowships, right. they're all faithful people. These people have been with me five plus years, and they know exactly what they're doing. They have proven themselves to be faithful. And um, they, they, they don't need yes, to be sir. checked out. The people that come to them are the ones that need to be checking out. And then you build a good, strong rapport and show um, that, that you can show yourself friendly and be trustworthy. And that's how you build. See, because you can't be doing all the stuff that I used to do when I was at, uh, you can't do all that at 55. You can't do somebody. Now you got to strike against you with disability and all that stuff too. See, you got to be wise in this upcoming days. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you, me and my wife, we are sold out uh, to, to uh, be obedient to Yahweh. Um, and we trust him. We really trust him with all our hearts. And, um, you know, it's, it's a joy you know, to hear you. That's why I have you subscribed. And, and I just enjoy hearing and listening to you so much because it just, you know, just hearing you build my faith that even more and more and more and seeing what you accomplished and, and, and just listening to you. I, I listened to one you had today called Noah uh, about the ark and it really was something. It really was something. That's a good little excerpt on the message, wasn't it? Sir? That was a good little piece of the message right there, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it was. Yes, it was. All right, my brother. I, you know, I trust. And I thank you. I appreciate talking with you so much, and I'm going to continue to listen to you, and, uh, I do, uh, you know, I do uh, worship, uh, me and my wife do uh, have a, uh, uh, you know, a class we go to is really a school of uh, biblical history. That's uh, a class that we go to, and they do teach the same thing that you teach. So that's why I'm inspired to listen to you, because they teach the same thing you teach. Yeah, that's one thing to teach, the same thing I teach, but do they live like ancient Israelites and like Israelites supposed to live yeah, today? That's, that's it. Yeah, that's, 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 that's true. I'm going to say so something to you. Once we leave, yeah. they that preach the gospel must live the gospel. We got a lot of people out there preaching, but they ain't living it. That's true. That's true. See what I'm talking about? The proof is in the pudding. Yes, sir, I definitely see that. Now, now watch this. Now you it can sure understand. Is. You can understand this statement now. By their fruits. You shall know them. You, you understand it now? Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, I got out of churches because of that reason right there. I got out of them because they were teaching that, uh, you know, that uh, Sunday was the day you were supposed to come say that because uh, Christ rose on that third day, which was Sunday. They changed it to Sunday. And I say, well, I don't understand that because I didn't see where Yahweh changed it. Uh, so that's why I got out of it. You yeah. know, I just just didn't feel it. I just didn't. And All I'm right. happy that I did now. I'm very happy that because I'm learning so much. Well, glory to the king. Nice speaking with you, my brother. I'm going to go ahead and get along with the rest of these phone calls. Yes, sir. And thank you. Nice speaking to you. Glory to the king. Glory to the king. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, and by the way, I really do appreciate y'all suffering through a lot of those ads on YouTube. But if you don't mind, when you see Pastor Dow videos, let those ads play so we can get a little bit of Federal Reserve notes. Um, we got a little bit of Federal Reserve notes this month from YouTube and stuff. And, man, we was able to pay some stuff. Oh, boy, we did. All right, let's go to 929, Brother Junior. 929 is Pastor Dow. You're on the Survey 230 broadcast. How can I help you, Junior? Fuck on, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Speak up, Junior. You hear me? You hear me? We got you now. Yes, sir. Um, um, yeah, um, like, I heard you talk about, like, you know, the last call you did. You know what I'm saying? You can't, and then I look, I read his word, right? Yeah. And, um, you can't, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all not entitled. I'm saying, y'all, 
the Commander's Knight being in types, you know what I'm saying? It's not a title of book. You gotta do something, you must do it. Like, you're not tired to get a Holy Spirit, you're not tired to get delivered, you're not tired to get healed. You must ask for you, you see, you know what I'm saying? It's not a title of book. I'm telling you. That's a problem, that's a problem for, for us Israelites, being in type. That's why, like, every time we are sick as people, you know, we in type, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm here, I'm in faith. Take care of me, take care of me, you know, in the bad form. You expect it in a bad form. But, um, you know, ain't going to work. Got to be faithful. You know what I'm saying? It's true. It's true. He wasn't entitled. Communion getting built. God, God, you know, like, sent his hand to build for you. <laughs> yeah, I was faithful. Yeah, I did it. You know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> That's how I'm learning. All right, bro, Junior. I'm learning here, so... Yes, sir. So, um, take care. All right, bless you, my brother. Shabbat shalom. Oh, so. Oh. Uh, let's go to uh, Virginia. Uh, brother Chris, call number five seven one five seven one. It's Pastor Dow. I'm trying to get this mosquito. I think I got him. Five seven one five seven one. It's Pastor Dow, you know, straight with you radio broadcast, Brother Chris. How can I help you? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. How are you? I'm blessed. How can I help you? Hallelujah. I'm very excited uh, about the Tabernacles. Well, hallelujah. From everything you just said, and yes, sir. From everything you just said, and even the, the video, the coming soon 2016. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, also, I just wanted to call in, say Shabbat Shalom, and uh, good news is I will be at the Father's, will be able to meet up the Rufus tomorrow with the Maryland thing. All right. Y'all have a good time. Okay. Shabbat Shalom. Yes, sir. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Let's go to call number 512 to Brother Blake. This is Pastor Dow. Brother Blake down in Texas, 512 is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight with Truth Radio broadcast. I can help, Brother Blake. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Um, I, I'm not going to hold you up. I have a, a question for you, and then I'm going to put my wife on, and she has a question for you as well. Come on with it. Uh, my question is, uh, how do you know the difference between being convicted and condemned? You mean tell me you don't know that? When you're convicted, you don't feel bad. When you condemn, you feel bad. Hallelujah. I had an idea. I was just, you know, clarifying and just uh, getting some wisdom from a man that knows. Well, you know and now. I, here's my wife for you, Pastor. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here's my wife for you. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I can help you, sister. Yes, sir. I just, I'll be very quick. I just wanted to say thank you for your words last week, you know, telling me to reach out to Mother Nellie. And uh, I did so. And, you know, just like all the other women that follow you, when we speak, it's just a true blessing and really helps me with my walk. And I'm just thankful for, you know, your faithfulness to the Father, and just, you know, we know, I know that this is where we should be, you know, and I just thank you for loving us enough to tell us the truth, and uh, I'm just thankful. My, my question is, what is the thing hindering you from praise? What's the what? What would be hindering you from giving praise to the Father? You? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, hallelujah. That is all I have to say, sir. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Shabbat shalom. You know, I know a lot of people think um, that I'm very harsh on women. I'm not. Uh, if you don't believe me, ask all our sisters here who understand, you know. And they always thinking, you know, a lot of people think that all I do is just women, women, women. It's because y'all so jacked up. Y'all toe up. If you don't believe me, 
whatever I preach and teach about a woman, tell me if I'm telling the truth or if I'm lying. But what's amazing is, ask the brothers, do they ever get jumped on? See, I work around the brethren, um, and they get corrected, and they get instructed. Now, I don't work around the sisters. Um, but you sisters, um, y'all are far from the holy women that I read about in the scriptures. Big time. I mean, far from it. And you know that you manipulate, you control, you dominate, um, you falsify, uh, you withhold good, or you undermine. Tell me that I'm lying. You're envious and jealous of every woman. Um, you always trying to protect what you call yours. You think you're being taken advantage of. Most of you are miserable. Tell the truth. Now, our sisters here straightway that walk in the faith, they ain't none of that stuff. I mean, you go figure. Hallelujah. At least I love you enough to tell you the truth. Let's go to Brother Tim, Tennessee. Call number 423-423. It's Pastor Dow. You on the Strip Two Radio broadcast? I can help a brother Tim. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Bless you. This is Brother Mitch. All right, Brother Mitch. How can I help you? Yes, sir. I have a question. All right. Uh, Elder Rufus gave me some instruction earlier this week to. Uh, he said to agree quick, agree quickly with your adversary. Yeah. Um, and he was talking about like demonic voices. Um. I apply. I started to apply that, and I noticed that it uh, it took it like all the power was gone, and I started binding them and everything in Jesus' name. I was wondering, could you um, expound on that? Well, I don't know what you're dealing with when he when he because when he tells you to agree quick with your adversary, I don't know what you're personally dealing with. It depends on what it is. Yes, sir. Um. I don't know, I guess just stuff telling me like I can't, like you're not able to do this, stuff like that. Well, good. Tell them you're right. I'm not able to do it, but I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. See how you agree quick with your adversary? That was easy, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Pastor Dow. I definitely want to uh, lift up Brother Tim. He's a very hardworking brother, and uh, he made sure that um, even though I was sinning against him, I was deceived about it, and he came to me and made sure I wasn't deceived at deceived about it anymore. Glory to the king. That's the kind of stuff we need. Sir, great talk. A whole lot of love. Uh, bless you, Pastor. Thank you. Shalom. All right. Bless you. Bless you, brother. Brother Mitch Shalom. Let's go to Pennsylvania. Call number 215-215. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Street Two Radio Broadcast. How can I help you? Good afternoon, uh, Pastor Dow. Shabbat Shalom, sir. Shabbat Shalom. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Ayana's, Sister Ayana's father. I'm just speaking and uh, just reaching out and, and, and telling you that you have helped me immensely in the last few months, and I will continue as long as y'all gives me breath to follow in your way and follow in y'all's way. I appreciate you, sir, and appreciate the job that you're doing. Thank well, you very much. Hallelujah. Just keep listening uh, because as you're hearing me, uh, the truth is, you are following Yah. I mean, you're following me as I follow Christ. But what I'm preaching and teaching, it's all his word. So, hey, I do appreciate it. I'm very grateful and thankful that you have ears to hear. Um, but I tell you, it sounds like that you're encouraged about what Yah has done is giving you the ears to hear. It's amazing, sir, that I thought that I, I knew a few things. But it's also taught me that uh, by being and being this, this age and condition I am, that um, I need to just be humble enough and have enough sense to know that I don't know a lot at all. And that leaves me open for more teaching and more learning. So I appreciate that also. And I hope to see you soon, sir. Well, hallelujah. Shalom. Same here, my brother. Shabbat Shalom. You know, that's one of my secrets right there. Um, because while I have knowledge in some things in some areas, I always try to approach things that I'm dealing with as if I don't know anything. Uh, when I can do that, that means my ceiling is, is pretty high, if you know what I mean. I have a, a high ceiling, and I don't limit myself in learning, if you understand what I mean. Glory to the King. Hallelujah. Let's go to Pennsylvania. Call number 717-717, a brother, Arcelio. 
This is Pastor Dow. You on the Strawberry Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you, brother? Our city open. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, brother. I'll see you. How can I help you, sir? Sir, um, you have done so much to help me. I, I, I really don't even know how to uh, say things to you sometimes because your, your wisdom is so profound. Everything that I've listened to that you told me to do, it always panned out. Sometimes not the way I wanted it, but it always panned out to where I, I get growth. Um, Sometimes my feelings get hurt, <laughs> and but always I grow and I learn. So I'm just thankful, and I'm, I'm grateful to you and everybody at Straightway. Uh, continue, please continue. God bless you. Hallelujah. Bless you, my brother. There's a there's a a, a whole bunch of saints that want to say bless you, sir. All right, let's hear. The bot. My pastor's brother Steve. How's it going, Pastor? I'm doing well, bro, Steve. Bless the most high God. So, hey, um, I heard Sister Esther yesterday, and I want to go ahead and put a few words in here. Brother, don't let these bootlickers that's got jacked up marriages, man, try to tell y'all that marriage used to, well, you just ain't hit this yet, and y'all young, and all this old other stuff, and this and that. And that. Man, y'all enjoy marriage, and the reason why y'all enjoying it is because you're under the unction and under the anointing of this ministry. And when people do things the way that I tell them to do it, follow me as I follow Christ, and then follow the instructions of what the Bible says when concerning marriage, you always gonna have a blessed marriage. She'll be in her role, you'll be in your role, and y'all home will be happy. And when people transgress and go against the wise counsel that I give them, they home's supposed to be a wreck. It's supposed to be a little wreck because you know why? Y'all know more than I do. So we're going to find out how wise you are then, ain't we? <laughs> but when you're following me as I follow Christ, and, and you're in, you're, you're uh, starting off on the right foot, man, your marriage is going to be blessed. That's all there is to it. Hallelujah. Enjoy your wife. Hallelujah, Pastor. I thank you so much. Yes, Pastor. Uh, I, I, I cast all those curses down because they almost think that we are at moment for me doing that Nope, 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 nope. I have found wise counsel in you, and I will continue to follow you no matter what, only as long as you follow the most high. So I, I, I don't receive those at all. And I, I, I definitely, we, we're learning that. We're going to continue following you as you follow Christ because you are truly carrying that torch. So hallelujah, Pastor. Oh, right. Hallelujah, bless you. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, brother Mike. I just want to thank you, man. Um, this 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 ministry really changed my life and really made me really feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit and really check myself at the door every time I hear you speak, every time you give a message. Even if it's on um, YouTube, or it's on service, blog talk, whatever it is, Pastor, I just want to thank you because it's helping and it's changing me and you're actually molding me to be the man that I need to be. You know, every day I'm learning something different and every day I'm learning how to be a better person, a better man for Israel. So I thank you for that and I thank everybody in the hallelujah. ministry for hiring me. I thank them all, everybody, all the brothers. Well, hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord to the King. Yes, sir, Pastor. Pastor, I just want you to know I love you. Um, I can't wait to see you in Tabernacle. Um, be around my family, spend time with my family, and rejoice with the Most High God, Jesus the Christ. And, um, Pastor, I'll keep you lifted in my prayers, Pastor. You're always in my heart, Pastor. And I love you, and I love all the saints over there. Shabbat Shalom, my Pastor. And I got some other brothers that want to talk to you, too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you, too, How you doing? Who is this? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. This is Brother Nick. Yes, how you doing, Pastor? How can I help, my brother? 
Uh, well, I'm just calling and, you know, because I'm fellowshipping with the Saints and PA. And I just wanted to tell you that, you know, I love the ministry. I say thank you for your counsel. You know, as a Christian, I always, you know, wished and prayed that I would have a fellowship with brethren that actually took the matters of the Most High seriously. And it's not until I got into straightway, I really had the opportunity to see brethren that really love the Father. And I can see that this is really possible because they are following a great man such as yourself. And I'm very grateful. You know, and even I was listening to the Sister to Sister blog talk yesterday, and I see the wisdom is even amongst the, you know, the sisters as well. And, you know, it's just so beautiful seeing how much everyone is growing in this ministry. And I'm grateful and I'm honored to know such a great man such as yourself, Pastor. You know, please continue, continue, you know, pushing towards the mark and never give up in the fight. Hallelujah. Say encouraged, brother. Yes, sir. Shabbat. Shabbat. Shabbat, Shabbat, Shalom, my pastor, it's Brother Dominic, how are you? Doing well, son, doing well, how can I help you? Um, we're over here, we're very, very, very encouraged. We're just in the fellowship with the brothers, a couple of sisters here, and man, we're just really encouraged because it's not all the time that, well, you guys on, on the land, you know, you guys get to live with each other. And you get to see each other nighting and day in. But uh, we're here. It's, it's very encouraging because within our fellowship, and the same as the straightway also, it's not like we have the Holy Spirit that just catches fire on each and every single one of it. It just goes throughout the room. And I just really want to thank you because just like what it was saying before, this ministry, it was very, very difficult to find serious brethren that really appreciated the fire that each and every single one of has. And it's, it's, it's really, really encouraging that we could have like a fellowship where the brethren strengthens each other instead of tearing each other down like the world does. So I just thank you for setting that example and setting the standards very, very high. And just know that you do have brethren that is reaching for that high pedestal that you set up. All right? Uh-huh. So, so with that, Shabbat Shalom. And I got uh, another brother here, all right? Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. This is Brother Rob. I just wanted to thank you and tell you to keep doing what you're doing. And Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Hallelujah. Bless you, my brother. Shabbat Shalom. And uh, there's a couple sisters there that want to say Shabbat Shalom. All right. Shalom, Pastor. Bless you. Bless you. I just want to say that I love you and I love all the saints. And I think about you all every day. And I can't, can't wait to come there for the feast. Oh, we're going to have a wonderful Thank time. Thank you for that. Yes, um, I believe tonight, and I'm excited that um, you see your land. Um, I think about that all the time, and I watch the videos of your land. It's very beautiful, and it looks like 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 when I go there, I'll be at peace. Well, you'll see when you get here. I just ask anybody who's already been here and, and the experience that they had. They'll tell you. Yes, ma'am. Um, well, Shabbat Shalom, and um, there's two more sisters that want to speak to you. All right. Hey, bless you, Sister Hannah. I just want to say Shabbat Shalom, and then I miss you guys. I got a chance to talk to Mama Carol today, so that's exciting. But Shabbat Shalom. Bless you. Bless you. How you doing? I'm doing well. Bless, how are you? I'm doing well as well. Doing well. Y'all keep praying for me, all right? 
Wait, wait. We got her, um... Bye, Bye, honey. You miss me? I miss you, too. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. And um, Gabriel Abraham wanted to say Shabbat Shalom and greetings to everyone in, in uh, straightway. Uh, he sends his, his love. Uh, so just wanted to relay that message to you. All right, my brother. Thank you, sir. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom! <laughs> they encourage, ain't they? Let's go to Maryland. Call number 443-443. Brother Cool. Cool James. It's Pastor Dow. You on the Straight With You radio broadcast. I can help my brother. That's Maryland. Hey, bless you. Fresh back from Africa, huh? Yes, sir. That was a trip. I tell you, Pastor, it's, uh, it's exactly, exactly. I haven't been back in so long, but it's exactly how you describe it when you say here in America. Everything is almost, there are no poor people. No, uh, no, not in America. I was born and raised. Yes, sir. I was born and raised in the land of hand, but I haven't been back in so long. And it's so easy how you get used to the comforts of just everyday things, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I had a, I had a very, very difficult time adjusting, so I know I need some work myself. Mm. So I thank you for, <laughs> for bringing that out how you have been and just being so blatant with it, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I, I took I took a lot. I, I It took a lot to just adjust to that, the way of living that the normal person does because uh, you know, when I was visiting with family, uh, natural family, and so... It was, you know, everything was, it was what you do, this is your routine in the morning, this is what we do here, we have to go get water at such and such a time, because there's no running water, uh, you're responsible for this, you're responsible, so, oh my God, Pastor, it's going to take a lot of discipline, and I was way out of touch with how things are, and if I was to offer anything to whoever may be listening, discipline is going to be paramount. It it's has gonna to be. be paramount if we're ever gonna make it in a wilderness kind of uh, situation. It has to be, don't it, brother? That's a good experience. So now my words really echo, don't they? Yes, sir. One hundred percent. Lord, one hundred percent, Pastor. And I, I did really have. I just wanted to call in and, and encourage you. I'm gonna pass you on to. Uh, brother, brother Brad, and just thank you for all the wisdom, like the brother said right before we hopped on. And we're definitely listening and praying for you, Pastor. All right, my brother. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Shabbat shalom, sir. Bless you. Bless you, brother Brad. Shabbat shalom. I had a question. Uh, I heard you speaking as far as the, on the tabernacle, as you mentioned about a class uh, for building. I was wondering, do you have a do you have a set a day that you're gonna um, be teaching, or it's just up in the air right now? No, it's just always tentatively up in the air because I mean we have building we have to do in South Carolina, which when we get to a certain stage, then I'll let brothers know uh, we're possibly possibly gonna be working on a few things here, or either tearing down a few things here. We're gonna be doing something uh, constructive, you know what I mean, for those who want to learn. Yes, sir. I want to learn, sir. I've been um, been uh, checking out some of your old videos and um, I've definitely been uh, uh, seeking some knowledge and understanding on that subject right there and putting in some work. And I definitely want to be one of the brothers on that list, sir. All right. I'm, I'm thinking about possibly even maybe doing a range day this tabernacle. 
So if we do do one, uh, you got one. Be prepared. Make sure y'all bring bullets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I definitely would love to do that, sir. Um, oh, oh, hallelujah. I definitely would love to do that. All right, my brother. Well, bless you, sir. Shabbat shalom to you, man. And we're praying for you, sir. And uh, continue blessing us with your knowledge and wisdom, sir. All right, bless you, my brother. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Shabbat shalom, Maryland. Boy, they fired up, ain't they? Glory to the king. All right, all right. Um, let's go to Alaska. The brother Reynolds called number 907. 907. This is Pastor Dow. You on the Straight Red 2 radio broadcast. I can help, brother Reynolds. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Bless My you. brother. Bless you, Hallelujah. Sir. Hallelujah. Glory to the king. Good to hear your voice. How's everything going with you? It's yes, going. Sir. It's going pretty good. Uh, going pretty good. All things considered. That's wonderful. I was happy to get off in time to, to get by here to the house and be able to, to catch blog talk. So give the most high all the glory for that. Um, I just want to go back on on to what you said earlier uh, about the ladies, and, and I'm not trying to by any means uh, put the ladies down, but. I, w I want to say this, um, we, we really don't do any justice to that Proverbs 31 woman. True. Uh, in Proverbs 31, 26, it, it says, she opens her mouth with wisdom. With wisdom. And in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. To me, this is saying this woman is a manager of her household and subject to her husband. Yeah. And so when you have that kind of issues with with the bickering and backbiting and stuff like that, uh, that would, a big question would come up whether or not this is Proverb 31 right here we're dealing with. So I know what you're talking about. When you... <laughs> Hallelujah. So I, I would say yes. If we we as 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 Israel really need to work on that. That is true. So I just want to say Shabbat Shalom, and may the Most High bless, continue to bless you and 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 your family, as well as the Straightway family worldwide. And take care, and Most High bless you. Shalom. Hallelujah! Y'all be encouraged. Shabbat Shalom. Sure. Let's go to Florida, brother Peter. Call number seven two seven seven two seven. It's Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight Red Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help Brother Peter? Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I just want to thank you again. I know I wrote you in a letter uh, about the rebuke and reproach. Uh, that really got me straightened out in my heart. Good. Uh, Glory to the King. That means you're a wise you young man. Yes, sir. I, I say glory to the king, too, as well. Um, I do want to say one testimony. I did get a job just uh, doing home remodeling, so Beautiful. I thank the most high out for that one. Beautiful. Hallelujah. And, uh, yes, sir. Um, I do have a, one question. Ever since I've uh, been following this ministry, the voice of just, you know, spiritually, I, can, I hear the voice of God and I hear you know, combination and all that stuff, and it's been louder. And ever since I've been looking up and watching your videos, Pastor, you as a spiritual warfare, um, you gave some good tips from your studies and your devotion to the Word, how to back down enemy in your head. And um, I really want to thank you for that, for, for your commitment to, um, I'd say, playing those seeds and teaching us how to cast down those strongholds in our head because ever since I've been following you it's and your ministry his ministry truly is that um that has been louder in my head in my heart I can feel the pings and stuff like that when I have a certain thought that comes into my head and and with your your advice for what you you study and, and the word has been really helpful I say, um, glory to the king. 
Glory to the King. Yes, sir. All right. Um, I say, uh, that's it. That's, that's, that's for me. I just want to say uh, thank you again for your devotion. And I say Shabbat Shalom to all the saints. And um, keep doing uh, our commitment to the Word and absorb our minds in the Word and seek your spirit. Keep hanging in there, brother Peter. Appreciate your prayers and support. Keep hanging in there. Shabbat shalom. Yes, sir. That's good. Good. That's a wise young man right there. Again, let's go to Florida. Call him a three one zero three one zero, brother Chili. It's Pastor Dow. You on the Strawberry Two Radio broadcast? I can help, brother Chili. Good evening, Pastor Dow. How you doing? I'm blessed of the most high God. I just wanted to let you know everything is good over here, and um, praise God. And um, I appreciate you don't show people when they bleed, so that's uh, that's I admire that, and I appreciate that. That I don't what? You don't show people when they're bleeding. No, no, ain't no need in all that. Uh, you want to say you want to say hi? Oh, uh, oh, uh, my wife says shalom. Thank you. Well, bless you. Thank you, Pastor Dow. I appreciate you a whole lot. And see you for the feast. All right. Y'all be encouraged. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yeah, I'm in the business of strengthening people. I'm not trying to uh, uh, belittle or express people or show people. Not like, now. I got a, a certain wisdom uh, that we all should be functioning after. Hallelujah. And everything that you do, uh, including if you're getting rebuked or approved, you should be seeking to edify. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. All right, let's go to um, California. 925, Brother Jawan. It's Pastor Dow, you know, Serbia 2 Radio Broadcast. I can help you, Brother Jawan. <laughs> Shalom and bless you. All right. Bless you, sister. Well, hallelujah. Let's go to Nebraska. Call number 308308. Brother Eric, this is Pastor Dow. You on the Streaming Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help Brother Eric? Shalom, Pastor. Hey, Shalom, Brother Eric. Shalom. Shalom. Just sitting here with uh, Mother Cynthia and my wife, Christy. Oh, yeah. man. Hey, shalom, sisters. That's beautiful, man. Give my, give my mama a hug. Oh, he said give you a hug. <laughs> she says right back at you. Hallelujah. Oh, sir, I'm trying to think how to ask this question. I just really like to hear it. I know that all parts of the Bible are particularly close to you, you know, depending on what season and what you're going through. But, you know, right now in this season that you're in, is there a Bible verse or something that's close to your heart and why? And then I could go ahead and just hang up the phone call if you have an answer for that and let you answer. Well, uh, there's not a particular Bible verse. I deal with passages. And the main thing is is really close to my heart is um, is the understanding and the comprehension of the covenant. And in order to have understanding and comprehension of the covenant, you have to know what biblical marriage is. I don't mind telling you that 85% uh, of my study time is really trying to get this thing, this marriage thing, this ma biblical marriage thing understood and down. And the reason being is because when you think about tabernacles, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be at feasting. Where? At the feast. What feast? The feast is that's the, a wedding feast. Um, and so... The reason why I study biblical marriage lately so much is because it teaches us and it shows us how we as a people should be behaving towards our father, towards our husband man um, in this covenant. Because this whole Bible is about covenant relationship. Beautiful. Thank you, Shepard. Thank you for the exhortation. Keep on pressing. Family, I love you. Shabbat shalom. All right, hallelujah, my brother. Shabbat shalom. Well, glory to the king. Look like we done. That's it for tonight. Hey, y'all be encouraged. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. I guess what? I have some more firepower for y'all based on the Gentiles. What I'm doing is arming y'all 
and getting y'all ready for all these racist liars out there to try to discriminate on either side of the field, uh, especially when it comes to the covenant. All right? Um, y'all be encouraged. I love you all. Thank y'all for your prayers, your offerings, your letter of support, uh, your emails, uh, your encouragement, every bit of it. It's all well taken here. And straightway is looking forward to seeing each and every last one of y'all here at this feast. Y'all be encouraged, okay, Israel? I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Be the Father's will, and I think it's his will. Shabbat Shalom. The King is coming. Uh-oh, look at him looking.